Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Workout Wednesday. It is week 28. My name is Shannon Lindsay, and I'm going to take you through this week's challenge. This week, we are looking at error bars in Power BI, and I thought that it would be interesting to take a look at the mammalian sleep habit data set, which is something that has traditionally been used to teach folks how to um, use R. We are going to build a really simple Power BI report with pretty minimal data transformation, and we are going to build just a couple of column charts that include error bars. So without further ado, let's jump into Power BI Desktop and start building. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do here is we are going to get data, and we're going to get data from the web. When you're connecting to someone's GitHub repository, within GitHub, there is a little button um, where you can click raw, and that's the link, that's the URL that we need to use when we're connecting to a GitHub repo. So I am just gonna connect to this GitHub repo. I am going to connect to the mSleep data set. I'm gonna click okay. And here we're going to see a preview of the data. It's going to connect. It'll show us exactly what we need. And here you can see we've got the data set that we're looking for. So we've got our animal names, genus, uh, feeding type, the order, so on and so forth. I'm going to go ahead and transform data instead of load. As always, we want to take a look at our data in the Power Query Editor. And we have a few things that we need to do here to the data. We need to clean things up just a tiny bit so that we can then set the proper data types. So for example, um, this NA value will not allow us to uh, format these columns as a numeric value. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of them. And I'm really only going to focus on the columns that we are using in the visualization. In the visualization, we look at body weight and we look at sleep total. So those are the two that I just want to make sure are set up appropriately. Um, and in this case, actually, there aren't any NAs. These are both set as numeric values. So we don't need to do anything with this data. What I am going to do is I am going to select the columns that we need in the data uh, that are used in the visualization. And actually, Genus is not used. And I'm going to go ahead and remove other columns so that we really only load the columns that we need for the viz. I'm going to close and apply this data. I do notice that my body weight and my sleep total are set appropriately. They are both set as decimal numbers. We're going to close and apply and we're going to load this to the canvas. Alrighty, so you can see that the data has been loaded to the model here and there are a couple of additional things that we need to do. First thing we need to do is I'd like to create a couple of measures, one for men and one for max, so that we can see the individual animals, you know, minimum uh, hours of sleep, whether we group these by feeding type or by, you know, animal size. So we're going to create our min and max measures. Then we're also going to group these animals into small, medium, large, and extra large based upon their body weight. And I just essentially took a look at the kind of range of body weight, and I used the values here to group them into their, you know, size groups, respectively. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create two new measures. There are a couple of different ways we can do this. I will just go to the table tools in the home tab of the ribbon, or sorry, in the table tools tab of the ribbon. I'm going to click new measure and we're just going to get our min and max values. So I'm going to call this min sleep and it's going to be the minimum number, uh, minimum value uh, by animal of sleep. I'm going to do the same exact thing for max. The next thing I'm going to do is to create some groups for body weight. So I am going to just right click on body weight and I am going to create a group. I appear to have lost my mind, but I suspect you can only create a group 
when you're in the Canvas view. I did not know that. So we're going to go and create a new group. We are going to create groups by list. We're not going to do them by bin uh, because that would, you know, bin the groups according to, you know, the distribution of the values, but we're not going to do that. So I'm going to group from zero to, gosh, I want to say, for small, I did maybe 0 to 86. And we're going to just double click on this and call this small. We're going to create another group here from 100 to 899. We're going to call these medium. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm only creating three groups just because I'm doing this on the fly. <laughs> these are going to be our large animals, and I believe these are an elephant and a whale. But now that we have these groups, what you can see here is we do get an actual additional column in our data set. So let's just take a look at that. So here you can see if we were to sort this data um, small to large, and I'm sorting on the wrong column. If we were to sort this data small to large, you would see that our teeny tiny little animals are, you know, in body weight group small. That's one way to check your work. Another way is you can go ahead and plot them on the canvas in a table. The next thing that I'm going to do here is according to our requirements, uh, we need to create two column charts. Uh, displaying the average sleep habits by size and average sleep habits by feeding type. The first thing I'm going to do is I am going to just set the page size to a custom page size. And I know that in this um, example, I had set it at 1100 by 900. That way the bar charts or canvas <laughs> column charts fit nicely here. Um, we want to make sure that we're creating a, a nice user experience as we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is to drop my first uh, visual on the page. And I know this is going to be uh, the average sleep per day by body weight group. So I'm going to start with total sleep. That's going to be my y-axis. And I'm actually going to turn this into an average. And I'm going to rename it here, average sleep per day. Now, a quick note, if you rename a value or a column here in the visualizations pane, you're renaming it only for that visual. You also have the opportunity, if you forgot to rename things in the Power Query Editor, you can rename them here. And what that does is it'll rename the column in Power Query, and I'm going to call this sleep hours per day. And then what you'll see is that actually applies a step in Power Query. All right, so the next thing I'm going to add to this is I am going to add the body weight groups. That's going to be my x axis. You see, I've got my small, medium, and large average sleep per day. And what you can really clearly see here is that the smaller the animal, the more sleep they appear to get. But what we want to get to is to understand, you know, is there a lot of variation within these data points or is this something we can truly generalize? So there are a number of different ways we can do that. Before we do, I'm going to take a look at the theme for this report and I'm actually just going to change it to colorblind safe. That's my favorite theme to use. I'm going to customize that theme just a little bit further by clicking on the down arrow going to customize current theme. And what I like to do is I like to bump up the text values. They are just so small that I can't really see anything and I'm also going to make them both the same font. So we're going to make these Sego UI. I'm going to make my titles 14 point. And hopefully we should be all set. Although this is what we want. 12 point minimum on the font, 14 point minimum on the title. And you can see that'll affect every single visual in the report. 
Okay, from here, what we need to do is a um, couple of things. The first thing that jumps out to me is I don't like the formatting that we've got going on here with the dotted lines. We've got too many um, labels happening for our axes, so let's fix those quickly. So the, the y-axis label actually can stay. I am going to remove the x-axis title because it's just a little bit too much. And I am going to rename this, so to change the title, and I'm going to call this um, Sleep Per Day by Size. I am going to remove the grid lines from the Y axis. Those are bothering me just a bit. I'm going to turn those off. We don't necessarily need them. Or you can leave them. You can do whatever you want with them. But to me, they just seem like a little bit of noise currently. So I'm going to remove those. And then here is the trick to get your error bars. I'm going to jump into add further analysis to your visual. This is the analyze pane. And it looks like here, actually, I'm glad I'm doing this on this uh, computer of mine. This is an older version of Power BI, and I do not see error bars as an option here. So let's go ahead and turn those on. I am going to go to Options and Settings. And just as a general rule, we always want to be using the most up-to-date version of the software as possible. But if you don't have that option, if you're not using Power BI downloaded from the store, you have the option to turn those on here in the preview features. So I'm going to turn on the error bars. I'm going to click OK. And then you do have to restart Power BI to uh, be able to use those features. Alrighty, so I've closed and reopened, and now we should be able to see in the analysis pane, or the analytics pane rather, I have the option to turn on the error bars. Now, here's what's really cool. Because we created these measures for min and max sleep, we can add those in to our upper and lower bounds. And I just did that backwards, so hold please. <laughs> Our max sleep is going to be our upper bound. Our min sleep is going to be our lower bound. And now you can see here that we have our error bars um, displayed clearly on the page. Uh, what is really interesting to me is that there is a ton of variation in the sleep habits of the small animals and really not so much variation in the sleep habits of the large animals. However, uh, part of that could be due to the number of animals that fall within that category. So we've got some further exploration to do. Um, but that right there is essentially the error bars feature. Um, we're going to go ahead and add one more visualization. And I actually like to do just a little shortcut here. And I like to copy and paste. And if I remember correctly, and I just did that with a control C and a control V. And if I remember correctly, our visual on the bottom here, we're actually looking rather than by body weight, we're looking by feeding type. And in the data set, feeding type here is categorized as VOR. So I'm going to bring this in here. And what you can see is we do have this NA value here where th these animals were not classified with any particular feeding type. So there are a couple of different things you could do with this. You can filter those out of the data completely, but you have to understand what effect that has on the data. You could also just filter that out of the visual itself. Again, you need to understand what effect it has on the data. For the purposes of this report, I'm going to go ahead and just filter those out um, from the whole entire report. So we are looking here at and only animals that have been classified with a feeding type. So just keep that in mind when you are manipulating your data. If you're adding and removing either values or columns, sometimes it may make more sense to include things that have not been classified. In the example, I filtered them out, so I'm going to go ahead and do that here. But just keep in mind that affects your underlying data and it affects your analysis. Um, the final thing I need to do here is just to add the titles. So I'm going to go here. I am going to just create 
titles that make sense. Sleep by feeding type. And similarly here, I'm going to do sleep by size. If you want to add more custom formatting to your report, you certainly can, but this is just the basics of what I did for this week's report. So we've got sleep by size, sleep by feeding type. We can add a title here and you are good to go. And that is the error bars functionality in Power BI. Uh, please tune in for next week's challenge to our blog and feel free to add any questions to the blog or tweet at us, send us a LinkedIn message, get a hold of us on social media. Thanks so much, everyone, for joining.